In Jamaica, embattled industry, investment and commerce minister Anthony Hilton is yet to state whether his ministry will continue to engage Croc Systems. The firm is interested in investing U.S. $5 billion into the country's logistics hub project, but there have been reservations about its financial status. More from Carrie and Lowe. It's been dubbed the controversial Croc Agreement. Did industry investment and commerce minister Anthony Hilton carry out due diligence before he signed a memorandum of understanding with Austrian firm Croc Systems in May? The firm initiated its interest of pumping U.S. $5 billion into the government's global logistics hub. However, from the get-go, members of civil society and the parliamentary opposition were skeptical about the firm's capability to finance the project. Those reservations would force the National Logistics Initiative Council, ENLIC, to undertake its own review of CROC. On June 24, the ENLIC committee, led by Professor Gordon Shirley, advised the cabinet to discontinue negotiations with CROC. ENLIC agreed that insufficient due diligence information was presented by the proposed bidder CROC Group. Cabinet said it agreed with ENLIC's position. But despite ENLIC's pronouncements, the government insists Minister Hilton can continue talks with CROC if he so wishes. There were differing views by the members of the ministry who are members of ENLIC. And the cabinet said in that vein, if you feel so strongly, if you believe that there is more to get, and I don't think it can hurt us, we want to get as many investments as we can in Jamaica. How is it going to hurt us if the ministry goes and the ministry can find that credible information and we can get investments out of it? So is the government going against ENLIC? an entity set up by the administration to report on critical matters. I don't think the two conflict. If, if I don't think the two conflict. I don't think the two conflict. I think what we did, ENLIC gave its report. And if the ministry comes and says it has new information, it will have to go through a due diligence process. It doesn't hurt us. Some private sector leaders have described the government's move as outrageous and highly unusual. What I will say, I, I think the ministry could have communicated this whole crop matter differently, but I think we have to be careful about the pronouncements we make. Minister Hilton and his ministry are working extremely hard to find investment opportunities for Jamaica. We need as many investment opportunities that we can get. And I believe that we, we have to be careful that we, do, we also don't turn off potential investors because of what we put them through as well. We have to be careful. But is the government making excuses for not reprimanding Mr. Hilton for his handling of the Croc affairs? Minister Faulkner also denied reports that senior government ministers have described the situation as embarrassing for the people and government of Jamaica. I think you would have to speak to those senior ministers yourself. I can't speak. I, they have not said that to me, so I could not speak oh, on their you're behalf. You're not aware of that sentiment, are you? No, I'm not aware of that sentiment from any of my colleagues. Right. Carrie and Lowe for Scene Caribbean News.